Friend Request is a movie directed by Simon Verho Even. And this movie focuses on a young girl who wrote by the name of Laura. She's popular. She has a boyfriend. She has family. She has friends. It's her birthday weekend. And there and there is this mysterious girl who's in her college class. And her name is Marina Wills. She happened to see Laura. She's kind of like the gothic, dark, in the corner, in the darkness type person. And she saw her and talked to her for a brief session. And she sent her a friend request through Facebook. Laura saw the friend request, so she accepted it because she felt sorry for her and she wanted to be her friend. After she sent the friend request, uh, the gothic chick starts sending her messages and messages and messages and messages and more messages. I mean, she's just sliding in her DMs just constantly every single day about, let's be together. Let's go together. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's chit chat. Let's chit. Let's hang out. So, weird things start to happen. You know, her Facebook starts to malfunction. She started getting all these weird videos and notifications from her page. So she constantly goes on her page to see what is going on, to investigate. After all this weird thing started to happen, she told the gothic chick to stop, but the gothic chick kept going. So she unfriended her off of Facebook and then Marina commits suicide. And after she committed suicide, she came back as an omnipotent being and terrorized her and her friends. SON OF A BITCH! SON OF A BITCH! Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're probably criticizing the fuck out of me, alright? Yeah, I actually, I enjoyed this movie. It's a, an interesting premise. Social media done right, okay? Hey. Interesting concept. So, only got it for $3.99. So, hey. But this film, I don't know what to call this film. This film obviously felt like it's a sequel to Un Unfriended. I'm not going to criticize the, the characters, not going to criticize the actors' performance. I'm just going to criticize the, the writers. They didn't know how to write a story or how to formulate a good plot. Once I tell you this, it's going to negate this whole entire movie from ever existing, all right? This movie would never happen if she didn't accept a friend request. If Laura never talked to her, never said, hey, she would be miserable in the corner, in the, in the, doing all that gothic stuff, she would continue on with her life, we wouldn't have a movie. Let's, okay, let's just say she happened to accept the friend request. If she accepted the friend request, all she gotta do is be nice to her, hang out with her, take her out to the movies, go to the bar, get drunk, you know, have a little girl time. If Laura, spend time with her quality time to help her build up her self-esteem so therefore she can feel better about herself with being a better person we wouldn't have this movie the positives with this movie i had to say that the, the that the person who played laura woodson was hot she did the best she could she pretty much carried the film and that was the only character i sort of care about the only reason why i cared about her so much because they did an ass shot that's only the reason why I cared about her so much because the director did an ass shot. The characters outside of her were not really, I didn't really care for them. I didn't really know their names or even memorize their names. I had a hard time knowing their names. And that's the only positive with this film. I mean, the positive is the character had a strong performance. The writing, the, the plot, the execution was just pointless. This Clearly, the gothic chick who committed suicide, she's OP as hell. I mean, she's controlling devices, she's controlling Facebook, and she's able to tag all of Laura's friends through Facebook. And Laura has over 800 friends, and then clearly the writers don't know the rules of Facebook. Because when it comes to videos and pictures, you can only tag a certain amount of people. I believe you can only tag 50 people on videos and 99 people for photos. Tell me in how in the hell this omnipotent being, after after she commits suicide, because apparently the message is clear, is if you commit suicide, you become the next ascending of God, you can tag 803 friends and tag them in a video. And she has the ability to turn on smartphones. So even if you turn off your computer or if you throw away your cell phone, throw away your computer, she'll find a way to, to kill you through printers and fax machines and 
telephones. I ain't talking about telephones like these. I'm talking about telephones from the 1960s with the wires. She can kill you through that because she's an omnipotent being and she controls all of technology. I say tonally this movie was very inconsistent. Like there is times where the characters are trying to be funny, but yet the moment is not funny. And then when the moment is trying to be serious, the characters are funny. There is a scene where this person was injured. She's on life support. She's close to death and she is like severely injured. And the cop walks in and, and the only thing he can say is, huh, she had a rough day. I'm like, seriously, really? But to really be honest, I cannot really give it my hot, my worst rating. I mean, it was funny, but it was, a, it was so bad that it's good, like guilty pleasure. So I have to give this movie a Val Kimmer Batman. This is a guilty pleasure at best. So guys, I, I just, I, 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 I mean, this movie is definitely one of the worst movies I saw this year, but this film is not in my top 10 of worst films, not just yet. It's definitely in my honorable mentions because the year is not over yet. So guys, have you seen from, don't see from requests, do not see from requests, please don't see from requests. If you want to see from requests, go ahead. Or just call it Unfriended 2. It's just, just it's Unfriended 2. And, and what I wonder what it'd be like if you poke somebody. Does her hand like come out the computer and she like finger your your butthole or something like that? Cause it pokes, it like pokes, it like pokes your butthole or fingers it. Put your finger in there, like inside the twat area. Uh, okay, okay, there. <laughs> yeah, and stay tuned for my analyze review for Mother. I was supposed to drop the review out a couple of days ago, but I had some personal issues to tend to. So, yeah, the personal issues is is kicking my ass right now, and I'm still dealing with that. So please bear with me. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you like everything you see and you agree, click right here. Join me and the Batman family. I'll have more Batman-tastic reviews in the way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.